To actualize the intention of developing a business-friendly environment, the following commitments are now very high strategic priorities. First, for the sake of stability, we have a tax code that is simple to enforce, consistent, fair, and predictable that lasts at least three years. This is one commitment that I undertook when I made uh, contact and I had a conversation with the American Chamber of Commerce. Secondly, we are committed to align our institutional framework for data protection with a global regime of global cross-border privacy rules framework. Third, we have eliminated VAT on exported products and the tax on stock-based compensation for employees of startups as well as domestic equity requirements for ICT companies have been removed. Again, these are a raft of commitments that I did undertake to make Kenya a destination for the kind of companies that you run. You can now operate from Kenya into the region, provide services across the region without paying any additional tax. There was a requirement before that for you to set up in our continent, you needed to um, uh, partner with companies in Kenya to the extent of 30% of equity. We have removed that requirement because we realize that the ability or capability of some of the companies locally to have that kind of resources may not exist and therefore it served as an impediment. Further, we also give our undertaking to comply with the OECD's uh, two-pillar solution for digital services tax when it enters into force. I believe it is also necessary at this stage to underscore our commitment to the re-engineering of our country's special economic zones and export processing zones with the intention of making them the most competitive in Africa. The strategic mission is to accelerate the flow of foreign direct investment by simplifying processes and removing procedures and regulations whose only purpose is to create unnecessary barriers to investors. We are further clarifying and rationalizing land regime to make access to land in our special economic zone and export processing zones expeditious. It is also useful to bring to your attention the fact that CCI Global, an American firm operating Kenya's biggest PPO out of Tatu City, Kenya's leading privately owned special economic zone, is presently doubling its workforce to 8,000 with a plan to further increase it to 12,000. This will enable CCI to serve American corporations, including United Islands, Spirit Airlines, JetBlue, AT&T, and Shipt, thereby giving very young Kenyans between 18 to 24 um, the opportunity to develop and provide the highest level of customer service skills. Thanks to CCI, its American clients, Kenya's famous hospitality has gone global, and we commit to take all necessary measures to make Kenya even more attractive for BPOs. <laughs> Safaricom is developing a partnership with Apple to integrate M-Pesa and its PayPal platform to extend M-Pesa's transactional reach globally. And this, has, and this has nothing to do with Ambassador Mick Whitman being the ambassador of Kenya. <laughs> Our strategic collaboration with Microsoft, Intel, IBM, Oracle, and Google are going to be pursued from a similarly pro-tech, solution-oriented, opportunity-enhancing, and transformational standpoint. We have every intent of maximizing the wonderful chances that these companies have presented to radically enhance our service delivery capabilities in skills development and training, research and development, data management, semiconductor manufacturing, 
cloud platforms and cybersecurity, as well as various sectoral interventions. Our efforts to strengthen bilateral trade relations between the US and Kenya through the Strategic Trade and Investment Partnership have begun to take shape. And as you heard Ambassador Whitman say, this is a process that we are engaged in and we intend to conclude these negotiations and sign the first ever agreement between America and a country in our African continent. <laughs> Kenya, ladies and gentlemen, is your gateway to the Silicon Savannah, to the East African community, the most integrated regional market of 500 million people. It is also a gateway to the Pan-African market of 1.4 billion people. If you build in Kenya, it works for Africa, and if you set up in Kenya, your African footprint is guaranteed. Our country is not only a thriving economy of the hardest workers you can find anywhere, it is also a scenic extravaganza of spectacular geography and a thrilling theater of rare wildlife in majestic action. If you travel from the Indian Ocean coast at the southern end to the world's second largest freshwater lake on the southern, uh, southwestern side, you will inspect the parade of proud palm trees in the coastal lowlands and the enigmatic baobab trees that hide elephants and give way to looming giraffe feeding and leopard sheltering acacia of the Nika, that's the plateau. The herbivore magnet savanna grasses where lions and cheetahs stalk hungrily for prey. Before you enter dense tropical forests higher and further inland on the way to behold the dramatic Afro-Alpine flora of freezing mountainside where you can see the snow-capped peak of Africa's second highest mountain before surveying the breath-stopping escarpments with borders to Lecheron Great Rift Valley, where I come from. You can enjoy all this and more over a course of only 800 kilometers. The diversity of our landscapes and wildlife is amazing. Our people are brilliant winners of diligent and diligent go-getters. Magical Kenya is irresistible. I have learned something fantastic from Ambassador Whitman. Kenya has innumerable marvelous attractions that we have grown up with and often take for granted. I agree with her that Kenya is beautiful and brimming with possibilities, which makes and which will be unleashed by aligning your investments with our opportunities. My work is to create the best possible environment for that to happen. And I give you my commitment that I will do my best and I will do it quickly. Kenya is the cradle of humankind, is the home of humankind. That is where we all came from. Those of you who are in America, those of you in, the, in Asia and the rest of the world, we all came from somewhere in Kenya. And therefore, don't be surprised when you feel at home in Kenya, because it truly is home. And therefore, I want to urge you, it is said east and west, including north and south, home is best. Come invest at home. Thank you very much.